Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. Today for Wednesday, let's take a look at the lesson that's assigned for evening prayer from the book of the Revelation to St. John the Divine. Remember, during this season of Advent, we are not only preparing for the coming of the Christmas holiday, right? We all know that's coming up, God willing, on, on December 25th if we don't go to meet Jesus first. So, you know, that, that's a part of our preparations for Advent. But the bigger part of the preparations for the Advent is for the preparation of the end of time when Jesus will return again, which is why during Advent we read from the book of the Revelation, uh, which is, of course, our last book of the Bible. Uh, and it's about those end times, uh, written in kind of cryptic lessons uh, and in, in visions that St. John the Evangelist received uh, while he was on the island of Patmos. Uh, and, and it helps us to have a, a sense of the coming of Jesus at the end of time. So we're on chapter 5, beginning at the first verse. And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne of the four beasts, in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth, he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty, twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. All right, so we're getting to the point now. Uh, the first four chapters, we had direct messages to the various churches about how they were doing uh, you know, in carrying on in living the gospel. Uh, and then now chapter 5, we, we've begun to see in the end of 4 and now in 5, the beginning of this vision of what will be the end times. Uh, and we hear about this book that has the, 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 the judgment of the world in there with the seven seals on it. Uh, and in fact, the, no human being could possibly be worthy to do it. But Jesus Christ, of course, is worthy because he's not only man, but he is God. We hear this wonderful, uh, I heard saying, blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him who sitteth upon the throne. Sounds familiar because you've been listening to Handel's Messiah, haven't you? Uh, many of these readings in, in Advent do come up uh, in Handel's Messiah uh, because the first part of Handel's Messiah is written about Advent. So there it is. There's your insider hint. Uh, so today is Wednesday. We do have 12.15 Holy Communion, 5 p.m., 4 p.m. evening prayer. I hope you can join us in person or join us online. Either way, let us pray and worship, and I hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday full of blessings.